Hey guys, so in this video what I'm going to do is a quick demonstration on um, how to do proper scoping with your Arduino projects and that means various tabs, how to declare methods in, in integers itself. Um, I spent a lot of time trying to figure it out myself um, and obviously I thought it would be good to share with the wider audience. Um, I do notice that there is particular errors when um, relying um, on the compiler itself when using multiple tabs. I have here a project, very simple project, um, where it has a, uh, a setup and a loop and then it has a couple of methods and an integer value. Oh, actually three methods. So if I run this it works absolutely fine. If I, how, however, if I start to create um, a new tab, for instance, and if I pull over one of the methods, pop it in there, by look, it will actually compile. Now, I did notice particular issues. If I go to an old sketch, and this is one with that I've created with multiple tabs and it was all working, turn off the computer, turn it back on. And when I try and compile it to the Arduino that sat in front of me, the same one, it would throw all these errors. And it was stating that the method that was working in the past cannot be declared. So this one here, reading the water sensor, cannot be located. The water sensor itself is actually in one of these methods and it was working fine. So it took a little bit of time to work out what the actual error was. Um, and you'll notice I'm on my uh, Windows instance here. On the users, on the actual username, app data, local and temp files, you'll see these compiled applications on your Arduino site. Now what's happening is in these sketches they're making a C++ file. When I open it and move it over, you'll see that this is the actual application that I used just a minute ago. This one here, that, w that compiles completely fine. Now what happens is that I have uh, an I no application, all that's doing is creating a CPP file as part of the compile. This is the one that's presented within my Arduino set here. And you'll see that the print tab is actually the print tab here. And you can actually see it's on a new tab itself. The other application, however, that if I have a quick look at it, Again, application that was working, but you'll notice that the the read water sensor, despite the fact that it's actually compiled, um, cannot be read. The reason for that is actually it's actually the the method itself is being called before the declaration of that method. Now, the um, now the prototypes here, you will see that they are actually declared, despite the fact explicitly declared by your application itself. The reason why this this print tab works and the other one doesn't is because the compilers put the print tab method within the, the actual compiler. However, if you have a look at the original one, the read water sensor, the compilers decided not to put anything at the top. It's actually missing. Hence why it cannot be found, because it calls it before it's declared it. And that's the reason why these applications are failing. They're not declared in scope. So there's a couple of ways to get around that. Uh, oh, actually just a... Um, just a note as well, if I if I create a new tab um, and I create um, 
an alphabetical tab that is of, um, let's just grab a method that's not used, good example, and put it in there and give that a compile. Hopefully that should still compile. If I go into that sketch, yes, you will notice that this has been compiled, but because of the alphabetic, alph alphabetical um, declaration, N becomes before Z. So this one is declared afterwards. Um, it's important to note that when you create an INO and a new tab, if I go into the folder itself, uh, you know, open up a new sketch to this one. And where's this save? Okay, so you'll notice that because I've created three tabs, it's actually created three INO applications uh, or files. Now what that does in the background is that I've created three tabs, meaning three INO files, and it essentially needs to create one CPP. And the reason for that is that when it fails and you declare in the third one, but call it in the first or second, that's when it throws an error. So what we need to do is declare the method at the top. How we do that is by putting um, these particular um, prototypes. So first thing to do here is that the method not used can be explicitly called, well let's use the print line for instance, the print line can be explicitly declared in the main sketch. So um, just like so. Uh, I believe it's that. Yeah, just the void. So when I run that, it should still be fine because um, it doesn't have a body. It's just um, almost like an uh, interface um, uh, method. But if I go to my original one to show here, this is the method that wasn't being declared. If I go back to the original sketch and plop it before it's declared, so I'm just going to slap it there and try and compile that. It's still going to fail because there are other issues, but more importantly, if I have a look at the sketch that I've just called, the water sensor has actually been explicitly called. So meaning that if I go back to my application, I will not see that um, the actual declaration of that method is no longer in scope. There's actually other applications or other methods that are still out of scope, which hence why it can't be compiled. But the salient point is that to allow the method to be called within the main sketch will resolve methods. The other part to that is that it can actually create a header information. That's one option. Uh, the um, header file is another one. So because it's C++, I can create um, um, new header file. H. So it will create a new tab and if I go into my sketch, my other sketch file, you can see it's actually created a new tab but a new .h file. So in here, because I've declared it as a .h, I can put in the um, method. Let's pick the same method again. Actually, before I do that, uh, da, 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 if I go in and get the sketch details, um, on the screen here is um, the syntax on uh, what needs to be declared within the .h file. 
So, um, so simply adding in the actual f file name uh, would suffice. So if I then grab the dot h, uh, grab the file, plop in here, and declare it at the fir at, at the main um, main sketch. So new header file dot h and double quotes. It declares. So if I it, it compiles rather. So if I go into my sketch and look at my CPP file, um, you can see it's actually been included, but not explicitly highlighted within this file. You'll see that it's not explicitly called. Hence, why it's in that .h file. So that's another way of going around to it. Um, that, in a nutshell, is really the best way on how to use uh, methods. So you can either put it in an alphabetical term if um, if you want to have that separation. You can have one being called or one declared before it's being used. The other option is to have it as a .h file, which we just mentioned. And then the other thing is to notify to the compiler the explicit declaration of that method. That's methods in itself. The other part of it is variables. So wherever, wherever my variable is, uh, dot uh, x, oh, right at the top. So you can see it's actually declared at the top. If I declare it somewhere else, not in the dot h, so we In the other file, give that a save, give that a run. You can see it's also not declared in the scope. Reason being, if I go back, it's actually declared at the bottom. So the other part of that is that um, all global variables itself must be declared before it's being used. So if I'm to use the main sketch and I want to declare it as a global variable, meaning it's, it's outside of a method. So um, int y equals 7, int z equals 6. This one here is a global variable. This one here is the local variable. The local variable meaning that it can only be used within that method itself. So all global variables can be, ideally speaking, um, highlighted at before it's actually being used. And the best way of doing that is to put it in the main sketch. Obviously, the other alternative is to use it in a .h file. It should, should compile. still have it here. Slap it in the back. Unused variable. Okay, I'm not too bothered about that part. But it evidently compiles. So if I have a quick look at the file again and refresh, you can see that this one's still a local and then this one's been placed at the top. Very good. Okay, so hopefully that should uh, resolve your um, your issues when it comes to um, declaring methods and in, in variables uh, in the Arduino. Um, best thing to do is probably to use uh, separate .h files 
um, rather than or, or calling the actual method itself but obviously don't rely on the compiler because it will evidently uh, the day later uh, will mess things up for you okay hope that helps thank you thank you for watching